Matthias Mozart was born in 1756, about 100 years after the end of the Renaissance, so he could not have contributed to the growth of this time period. But in the Renaissance, many innovations were made that contribute to the industry of music and Mozart's composition. Counterpoint is the relationship between many voices that depend on each other but are still independent in their rhythm and contour. The Renaissance is described as the golden age of counterpoint. A contrapuntal technique that appeared during the Renaissance was imitation. Imitation is when a musical unit is repeated in a different voice. Mozart uses imitation in his 41st symphony, the final published symphony in his lifetime. He distributes the melodic idea around the orchestra at different times during the first movement. In the second movement, he also makes use of imitation, but it is much slower and more lyrical than the first movement. In the final movement, it is the result of foreshadowing in the first movement, where the increased use of imitation leads to the contrapuntal climax in this movement. When Mozart discovered the contrapuntal art, it impressed him greatly, and he used these techniques in almost all of his later works. He combined underlying phrase structures to form unified musical phrases that contained harmony and tonal design. He also went on to use counterpoint in his operas by using these techniques to depict his characters' emotions and personality through their vocal lines. When the printing press was invented by Johann Gutenberg, he created a new way to print music and also created opportunities for composers to get more exposure for their music. It not only changed the lives of people in Europe, it also made printing music easier. Instead of having to copy each note down by hand, the correct notes, lines, and symbols were assembled onto the printing press, inked, and pressed onto paper. This made it easier to duplicate music at a faster pace and distribute it to more people. During Mozart's time, people had started to develop publishing companies because they realized that printing music was actually a very good way to make money. Mozart's music was printed by the original German music publishing enterprise, which also printed music for other German composers including Beethoven, Haydn, Schubert, and Schumann. Without the invention of the printing press, Mozart's music would probably have never been published, seen by the public eye, and become a staple of musical education today. Keyboard instruments may just be the most important innovation during the Renaissance that helped Mozart compose his most famous works, because without a keyboard, he couldn't have played anything. However, the keyboards invented in the Renaissance were different from the modern piano. The strings of a harpsichord, which was a keyboard invented during the Renaissance, were plucked, while the strings of a piano are struck by hammers. Most of Mozart's compositions were written using the harpsichord, which was refined during the Renaissance by the Rucker's family. The harpsichords used a heavier construction and produced a more powerful and distinctive tone. Harpsichords were ideal for playing the polyphonic texture and counterpoint used in Mozart's music. Though he also learned to play the piano near the end of his life, most of his compositions were still written on the harpsichord. Innovations in the Renaissance influenced and inspired Mozart to compose many famous works. Mozart was greatly inspired by counterpoint and he used it very often in his music. The printing press helped him get more exposure for his music. The keyboard instrument not only helped Mozart compose, it also helped him bring individuality and character to his music. The Renaissance was full of great innovations that helped Mozart become the musical genius he is known as today.